Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy, who is Hendo, and we back talking sports. <clears throat> Disclaimer this is not a shot at Bron or nothing. This is just a question that I want answered. So, as you know, Kobe passed away about what, three years ago? 2020? Yeah, about three years ago. And personally, I think the disrespect for his name has heightened a lot. And a lot of people are lying about his legacy. A lot of people disrespecting him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even talking about the trolls. You know it's going to be trolls out there to say all type of junk. I ain't talking about them. Anybody without a, a real profile picture, I don't take serious. But anyways, I got this graphic right here that, you know what I'm saying, it goes against everything that people, you know what I'm saying, really saying about Kobe, you know? I've heard Kobe's not top 10, right? Shit, I've heard Kobe ain't even top 15. I heard he got carried. I heard he got carried by Paul Gasol. I heard he got carried by Shaq. He got carried by who? whoever he's on the team with, he got carried by. Okay. So, let's say in your crazy mind, he got carried or whatever like that. In your crazy mind or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying, for you Kobe haters. On the flip side, the media loves LeBron James. And I think LeBron James is a phenomenal player. Transcended. Once again, my only problem is that he is not the GOAT. I don't have any problem with LeBron whatsoever. I have no problem with LeBron. It's really with his fans. It's zero problem with LeBron. But, you know, they try to make that GOAT case or whatever like that, but he's just... You know what I'm saying? Automatically second and everything like that. So a guy that's not even top 10 for some of you haters or not even top five for some of you haters was able to beat three of the teams that was able to lead his team to beat the same teams that this quote unquote goat or quote unquote top two player was not able to beat. And don't give me that team stuff because Kobe team was not that much better than LeBron team. LeBron team, especially the year he won 66 games, had the number one three point shooting team and a top three defense. So for this trash player overrated player to lead his team to three straight finals scoring 2,000 points over those three years the most in the three-year stretch ever beating 450 win teams in one of those runs hmm hmm it's not really making any sense for you to say that he's nowhere near LeBron when he beat all the teams that LeBron lost to in a three-year span. So I'm not really understanding where you're getting this from. And I don't want to hear the excuses. I'm just talking about what happened. This is what happened. You could put context in it. In 07, LeBron could not shoot. All those games was five points or below. Don't give me that. Tim Duncan scored 17 points per game. In that series, Tony Parker was the MVP, 24 points per game. Melo destroyed that same Spurs team. I'm just saying. Don't give me that no nine magic because in game six, LeBron had 20 points. No, 25 points, eight for 20. He got 17 from Mo Williams. He got 22 from Delonte West. He got 15 from Anderson Virgil. So don't give me that. In 2010, he had... Nine turnovers. He had 25 points and 19 rebounds, but he was what, nine for 22 and nine turnovers? 
and that was the series where they said he they thought that he quit because of the stuff with his mama and all that. That's the mentality. That's the difference between Kobe and LeBron. Kobe was going through a whole case. Fuck uh yo your teammate smashing on your mama. He was going through a whole rape case and still was balling. And still had one of his greatest years ever. So I'm trying to figure out how a player that's not top 10 or not top 5 or whatever, and a player that's automatically supposed to be top 2 or whatever, why he wasn't able to get it done? He had sufficient help. Don't say he didn't. He asked if you don't win 66 games without being a good team. You don't get a top two, top three seed every year, which is what he had 08, 09, 2010. It was at least a top three to four seed. You don't be the number one team in three point shooting without having a good team around you. Or a top five defensive team, top five to ten defensive team, without you being a good team. So I'm, I just want to know, like, can y'all just answer this question for me? Like, how was that possible? How was Kobe able to lead his team over the same uh, teams that LeBron lost to? In some of these years, LeBron won more more games. His team had one more regular season games than Kobe. Don't get me, oh, he had Powell and all that. What did Powell do before Kobe? One all-star. One playoff. I love Powell Gasol, but they was great for each other. Powell needed a big man. I mean, Kobe needed another big man. And Powell needed to go to a new team. He wanted to win. I just want to know, how did Kobe and Powell just by themselves, you know what I'm saying, do this? If he the GOAT and everything, how come he couldn't get it done? Don't give me that he was young. It does not matter. Kobe at 21 years old dropped 28 points in a game four in the 2000 finals on a bum-ass ankle when Shaq got fouled out. Yeah. So I just wanted to ask this question. Like, can y'all just answer it for me? You know what I'm saying? All basketball fans. I just want to know. How was he able to do that? How was Kobe able to do this? And why why couldn't LeBron get it? You know what I'm saying? Why couldn't LeBron get it done? Why couldn't he get it done? I just want to know. I just want to know. Can y'all answer? Can y'all ask it, like answer me this question, please? This has been Who is Hendo, man, with another video. <laughs> I'm out. Peace.